what's going on everybody welcome to today's video today's video people are always sending me products to try out and a lot of times they just say no but sometimes some products come around i think you guys might be interested in like uh we've got this water filter here it's got two lines that come out one for potable water which is like well, you know washing dishes and stuff and then there's a drinkable one and we're gonna try this out today because i'm at fisher creek right now which is down in mclean we're gonna set her up and uh we're gonna filter some water but first let's get to the good old unboxing With being battery operated, this is going to come in handy for me, especially since I do a lot of backcountry camping near water. The two downsides that I don't like about this is that the water filters are proprietary to the system itself. So you cannot buy any other filters. So if the company goes under or disappears, well then you're not going to be able to get filters. And the second is both water lines at the back are running all the time i wish you could isolate one from the other but you can't it says we got drinking water and that's the other one so the blue hose is gonna go there we're gonna put our suction hose in there so i got that to cut off it's a good thing i packed my power fist bag Got my pro point hammer that's not gonna work power fist screwdrivers and i got some cutters right here carefully cut through there we go this is our suction line so as a mill right we use these types of fittings all the time so what you do is you push it in and then it locks it in place right and you see this kind of like white tabs in order to get it out you kind of have to push it in and then you slide it out and what I mean by push it in is that the outside of this white thing, push it in, there you go. Otherwise you're gonna be pulling and pulling on that forever and you might ruin it. So we're all set up. I can take that, throw it in the water, turn it on. I guess there's like a 10 minute flush before we can use it. I'll just set it in the grass. And I got my filter here. That should uh, hopefully work. Come back over here. And then we'll see. Hold it down for three seconds. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it's sucking through. I saw water come up. There I go. I see some water coming out of this one. And we got water coming out of that one. I know they said like 10 minute flush. But I'm just gonna stick it in this one. So it's gonna take forever to fill at that rate. Same with this little jug here. So we'll just chill now. So I'm just down on Fisher Creek. Using this water filter system here. Filling up some jugs. We'll let the filter do its thing. And we'll see if I get sick or not off of it. Be interesting to see how it works. Man, she's a hot day out. 30 some degrees. I 
The water's clear for sure. So I got my Yeti mug here. Let's just fill that up. Coming up to the top. How's the moment of truth? See how it tastes. It actually tastes pretty good. Yeah. I was thinking maybe it'd be a little faster. But it's probably better to filter water more slowly. Definitely super clear. Probably take like 20 minutes to fill these up. The only thing that I don't like is that both lines run all the time. I wish you could isolate it, whether to use one filter or the other, instead of having them both go. Seems like it's working okay. I have the filter in there. Even the water coming up to the filter is clean. It's like crystal clear in the bottle. there there we go crystal clear mountain stream water that's full I think I just pressed that once yeah it looks like it so once it turns off, this is good to go. There you have it, really simple, easy to use. Hook up the two lines, press power, way she goes. If you ever need to change your filters, they're right there. Yeah, these work all right. Water tastes good. Well, if I get through the rest of today and tomorrow without getting the shits, yeah, I think this water filter works pretty darn good. It's pretty slow, so you gotta have a lot of patience. I mean, it's, I guess it's expected for a water filter because it's gotta do its job, right, filter? And uh, I wanna know in the comments below, if you made it this far, if you guys use a water filter system for the backcountry, I wanna know what model and make it is. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.